Hello everybody, this is Joel and I'm doing another one of my 4FS videos and this is about annotation and note taking. We do this in phase 1 and 2 but phase 2 is one that we really really uh, focus on it. So let's begin. Right, so in terms of the phase 2 uh, report you will need to find one article from an academic journal and another article that has a graph chart table or label diagram in it and um, you may find more than two sources but you need to have two um, I think that you are actually better off having more than two because it makes paraphrasing easier uh, but in terms of what you have to submit you only need two. This is going to be for an ACSF level 4 reading task and I explained what ACSF was in the overview video. In the future I may do a, another video about the ACSF. So it's got to be a reliable text that means no Wikipedia and no blogs so you want to look at something from an academic journal written by experts in the field or, or endorsed by professional bodies or organizations, government departments, charities that are dealing with that problem and things like that. So to find an academic text you can go to the library and check if you watch this video on YouTube it's also there you'll see a video about how to go into the databases and the other way is to use Google Scholar. So if you're using Google Scholar once you type in your topic you'll find that there are links to the PDFs there that means you can probably get them for free which is good and then also you can click on this quotation mark to get the citation information so it comes up like this and you'll see we, we're using APA style so you can cut and paste. I can tell you from personal experience that you do need to sort of check this because sometimes it's not correct but um, once you get your at least it's a good start and then you can work out if you need to have a look at it and um, fix it up a bit. So then using the databases you will take you go to the library web page and uh, go down the bottom and click on that bar that I um, had the picture on and it has all sorts of databases one of my favorites is ProQuest but you can use whatever you like and you'll have to sign in. So you, let's say you found your sources once you've done that you're going to print them out um, you'll annotate them and take notes so you're going to be have about one or two pages of notes per source so this you do this with all of the two sources that you submit personally I would do this with all of your sources the annotation is useful to help you find information and it's going to help you write your report with the other two sources you will have to write a summary so the one with the graph is going to be 150 words and that's similar to the IELTS academic uh, task one so that's good practice for that and for the academic journal you're going to write about 250 words all right now these summaries can help you because if you really put your, a lot of effort into it and s paraphrase well then you can use that as a sort of springboard into writing for your report so you might find that you put some of the stuff for the graph in the discussion or the introduction the academic journal will definitely go into the um, introduction and possibly the discussion you don't you know you might chop it up and put bits and 
pieces of it everywhere so it's sort of the first beginnings of your report so it's it's not a waste of time by any means taking the notes helps you get ready to write your summary good notes should half write the summary okay so uh, this is something I was reading for fun and um, because it was uh, interesting I highlighted the important information so but it's not a great example of annotation because annotation is more than just highlighting you should also write notes in the margins you might want to write uh, translations or dictionary meanings for difficult words okay um, so annotation will help you to find the in, the useful information and extract it so there's some debate as to whether it will help it helps you learn or whether or, and remember information but it definitely helps you find it again so you're going to make up your own system so this this is um three different systems of annotation that I used right so this was my first one this was the second one this is the third one right now pay no attention to the actual topic I, that's not important it's just that I want to give you an example of what annotation is and you can see that what was important for me right so what that is important for you might be different right so here is an example you can see I've got marginal notes you can see I've got different colors I've also got underlines as well right okay so you 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 can use underline highlight write translations write meanings down and make marginal notes of important information okay some useful tips that I've found so um, it's especially for your reports I think it's actually good to highlight in different colors depending on where you will use that information so you might use yellow for your introduction orange for your findings pink for your discussion green for stuff that's only going to go in your presentation it's up to you that that may not be useful but I have seen people use it before you may go out and do some a different system it's totally up to you these are all my annotation stuff of the different um, courses that I've been doing over the years so you can see that I've used four different books in my examples and that each time it was different so I'm always kind of tinkering at the edges and it always will change a bit anyway depending on uh, the needs of that stuff so obviously I'm studying this but I'm not writing a report so um, my main focus is just being able to remember it and find it again but if you've actually got to sort it out and organize it into a report you might add it an another layer of of color coding or something like that into it so once you've done that you're going to start taking notes now we have done some listening and note taking in class and so those skills are going to be transferable into the reading and note taking you might use some things like this once again you will um, develop your own system of abbreviations and shorthand you're the one who's got to read it um, so we'll do more of this in class but just so you know what I'm talking about and, and you're going to write one or two pages of notes per reading so as I mentioned before writing the notes will help you write your report it'll help you also to plan your report because it, it's part of the organization and prioritizing the information okay just remember that the headings of your report are going to be A, method, introduction, findings, discussion, conclusion. There'll be an appendix with the survey, questions, 
and the appendix with the survey results. The introduction will, could be several paragraphs. It's not like uh, maybe an introduction that you've encountered before because it also has elements of a literature review where you discuss your research. Alright, so you will introduce your topic but you'll also introduce, well, but as part of introducing your topic, you discuss your readings. The conclusion may be slightly different. You do summarize your main points. So while you're making your notes, you may create your own template in Word. Um, here's an idea for one. So I think it's actually good to get an idea of the purpose of the text and, and the audience. I'll give you a list of stuff that I want for the level 4 reading another time. Um, maybe the next video I make. You'll record the title and you'll, you'll um, I don't know about surprises and stuff, but obviously this is um, something I just found on the internet, but it will depend on uh, whether it's what kind of text you're reading and and stuff like that. So you should ask yourself what's relevant to your report. So if you're reading something, not all of the information is going to be useful for you. What's important, all right? What's interesting, and why is it important, relevant, or interesting? Okay. So this is just some things to think about. This is the sort of stuff that's going to put in introductions, findings and conclusions. This is part of your summary for it. I, I do want you to make a list of keywords or vocabulary as well and submit that. So that will be part. Making um, a vocabulary list will be part of this uh, level 4 reading activity. So we will be do be doing more note taking um, skills in class. Um, here's another template that I found that may be a bit too simple though. Um, and you know, just remember that notes are useful. It's a useful skill to have. Help you learn vocabulary. Help help you with examples. Help you look at the references that they use and how they reference. Um, help you understand the concepts and help you form your own ideas and thoughts about the, the topic. After you've finished writing your notes, we're, you're going to do a summary. Now we will do summary writing in class um, and so don't worry about it too much now. I'll do another video on that later perhaps, but we'll also be doing a lot of it in class. But just remember that um, you should be writing your summary in your own words. Don't copy from the text. Um, and you should demonstrate your understanding of new words. And that you should, um, yeah, basically show that you understand what the article is about. Okay, so thanks for listening. And um, this is going to help you with this week's. Um, task of getting your readings ready and so the next computer lab once you've got your topic for your report and presentation chosen you'll be finding your sources printing them out start annotating once you've got them annotated start taking the notes and then we'll move on to the summary writing okay see you in class